Hi and welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday the 8th of May. As you can see I am back at Bramley Moor Dock, home of Everton's new stadium. Come to have a look around. I've got a few things to look at that people have asked for. So I'm going to start out on the northwest corner. Sorry, it's getting the northeast, south, and west right. And what people have, several people have asked me to look at, you see, is getting sort of avoided by most of us, me included. And that's to take a look at what's happening with like the dock wall and the area beyond. Because I believe, now I may be wrong, because to say this is my first time looking at, at these bits, that the area past there so that area sort of there isn't sort of Everton's responsibility. I say it looks like some of that area has been shored up. Looks like stop it collapsing almost, but it does look quite old and tatty I'll just get up a bit so hopefully I can look a bit further along You can see the sort of edging paving and lamp posts, etc., are all in. I say it's not an area I have really looked at, so apologies if I'm covering things that have been said before or indeed what I'm saying is wrong um, but as I say it's just an area I was asked could I sort of highlight on a bit so now I did focus on that water tank last time but apparently that has has been there quite a while doing its job as has that section of wall there and you can see the original dock wall to the right of it So the, the polycarbonate is coming along, along this roof. I certainly wouldn't want to be that man out there. <laughs> T 
so it looks like most of the And say, and you can see, I believe the the strips to fill these gaps in are already laid there, ready for filling in. As were the ones for this end. Can't really see what that is lifting in. So I don't know if it's been decided yet now if these are the, uh, I think it was wide edge granite sets or they are have indeed been changed to something else. Um, I don't think I will be able to get much closer, certainly not when people are working. So there we go, the next section of South, South Stam roof is being unrolled. I will quickly move over to the other side hopefully we can I should be in time to see them clip that into place so I can get a bit closer over the other side review of the plaza while I'm on my way round should be able to drop down there you can see the roof on its way just get a bit lower I'm actually a long, long, long way back from this because I'm on the I'm on the zoom lens. Is the straighten it up.
there it comes across. Then it looks like so they they just clip it into place. There we go. So it's actually very fast from appearing out of the container to being done right. I'll move across. See if we can get the next, if there's a next piece coming. I presume the strength is in the ridges because they they do appear to everyone walk along the the ridges rather than the flat bit in the middle. Yep, and here comes the here comes the next piece. So I'll, I'll come back to that when that's nearly unrolled while I answer another question uh, which was involving the barrel arch cladding on this corner. And which was why did it appear that they didn't start so close to the edge? But if you look at the bottom, they did. And it's simply because this self stand is a lot more angled than the, the north end is quite square where the self stand isn't. So most of these will be shaped pieces. There may be couple of normal pieces in that top left hand corner but otherwise they're all shaped pieces to go on that as we know get done 
sort of at the end it looks like they're removing them like tabs that must be used for carrying them because the odd one's still left in this free there in the middle now we'll see where the roof has got to see there you can see it's it's halfway Right, I shall, seems it be exactly the same as last time. I will move on. I'm gonna go and have a quick look into the stadium because you see there is the, there's a crane inside. So I'll go around this way and have a look in. Keep out the way of everybody. Not sure what those are. What the cranes hooked up to. As you can see, there is now some fixings going in for the rail seats. I did forget last time, uh, I will put a picture in what I believe the rail seats will look like. Uh, the picture's actually from Chelsea, um, but as far as I know, the ones at Liverpool, um, Old Trafford, let's say Stamford Bridge, are all these same type, so they must be the type that sort of approved. They're not ones that lock up and down or anything like that. Um, see, there's quite a lot of confusion between safe standing and rail seating. Um, but I've seen it's been covered many times. Um, yeah, and there's no law been passed that more than one person per seat can be used. which is what the basis of Everton increasing their capacity is based on. But. See, polycarbonates, say continuing. It's also noted that the walkway section that's been on the final roof has started to go go across there quite a, most of the way. What that worker on the left there is standing on. So and that one that one again on the left, as you can see, it goes all the way nearly across. So it looks like that next 
piece of roof has been clipped in. Yep, so at least there's another one coming. say after today there won't be a lot left on this south roof going by this we've watched them do two in the 20 minutes or so that I've been here and I would think the way they're lining up there'd be a third any moment No, that's made me out wrong. That looks like the container's going back down. Perhaps it needs re reloading. So that was a sort of unexpected bonus today. Um, I say my main purpose was to have a look along that dock wall and just to answer that question about the barrel cladding that as you can see they're busy removing those pegs. I presume before more goes on. So I will leave it there for today. Um, once again, thanks for watching. I had a really good response from the last video, so I really appreciate that. If you could like, share and subscribe, it uh, really helps my channel grow, move along. And I will look forward to seeing you next time.